Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's so good to see you and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making St. Louis gooey cake. It's also known as ooey gooey cake and it is a recipe that dates from the 1930s and it is said that it was made by a German American baker who switched the proportions of butter and flour, ended up with a cake that was very dense and ooey and gooey, but did not want to throw it away. This was during the time of the Great Depression, after all. Decided to sell it. It became a seller and ba -da -ba -ba we have the St. Louis gooey, ooey, gooey butter cake. From my understanding, the original recipe actually had some yeast in it. It was like a yeasted crust with a gooey top, but most people make it using store-bought cake mix. So that's what I'm going to use today. And let's go ahead and make this. So in a large bowl, we're going to dump in one box of cake mix. I'm using a yellow butter cake. Now that I just dumped this in here, it reminds me that I recently made cookies out of cake mix. So, so easy. So one box into there, and now I'm gonna add one egg. Oops, not the shell, just the egg. And one stick of melted butter. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. So, put the beaters in the wah-wah. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna use this pan. This is actually the pan I cooked my Detroit pizza in. I think it's just gonna be just fine. We're gonna spray this up. Add this mixture to our pan. Make sure we get it in every spot. Press the dough up the sides a bit. Ooey, gooey, 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 ooey, gooey, gooey. St. Louis, Missouri, by the way. I forgot to say where this is from exactly. There's the base. Set that aside for a moment. We're gonna use the same bowl we used to make the crust. One eight ounce brick of cream cheese. Break that up a little bit with our mixer. I feel like I have cream cheese on my forehead now. Lovely. <laughs> So this is always a lot easier to do when your cream cheese is at room temperature. Okay, a little bit more. One teaspoon of vanilla. Oop. Two eggs. Scrape that down a bit. Probably would have been easier to incorporate had I added those eggs one at a time. That's all right, we'll just mix it really well. This is one stick of melted butter. Oop. Along with that, one pound of powdered sugar. One pound, 16 ounces. I'm gonna add the second half of this. This recipe seems very forgiving, so I don't think you even need a hand mixer. If you don't have one, I think you could do this with a whisk, as long as your cream cheese is at room temperature. So I'm gonna give this a little stir because this is a lot of powdered sugar to go flying, and the motor of my hand mixer is a bit <laughs> you know, choochy. Now we're gonna add the gooey topping to the crust that we made earlier. Just pour that right in. <laughs> that looks really good. All right, make sure we get every little bit of this in here. Now I'm gonna use my offset spatula. Alrighty, now we're gonna manipulate the goo. Spread it all around. Oh, that, that's hot. Oof. Ooh. You see that? Oh, I love having the right tool for the job. I feel like I'm laying concrete or something. Now we're gonna pop this into a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven, cook it for 40 to 50 minutes. We're gonna let it cool just a little bit and eat it while it's warm. Alrighty, my lovely, see you in a little bit. Ooey gooey, ooey gooey, um, num, num, mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Here is the St. Louis gooey cake. Doesn't it look lovely? I took it out after 40 minutes and it has been cooling here for about 10. You're supposed to eat this warm. Look at that. So I'm gonna try cutting this with my spatula because I do not want to scratch this beautiful pan. So I'm gonna go for this corner piece right here. Oh, yeah, that cuts beautifully. Okay. Oh, that looks delicious. It has this shiny, beautiful crackly top that reminds me of a brownie. So there's the crust and the gooey layer on top. Itadakimasu. That's pretty gooey and gooey. It is sweet and very, very buttery. Not surprising, we have two sticks of butter in here. The texture is not so gooey in my opinion. I don't feel like it's sticky or stretchy. It's just soft and warm, not quite as soft as say a lava cake, but a bit like an underdone cake. The flavor is lovely. It reminds me of brown butter. It has this really nice nutty flavor to it, but tons of butter, a little bit of vanilla, but mostly I taste butter. Let's try the edge piece here. Cause on brownies, I love an edge piece. Mmm, mm-hmm. And here too, it's kind of similar to a brownie, particularly the edge piece. It's a little bit chewier, a little bit firmer, yet it remains kind of soft and gooey on the top. This is a very sweet dessert. And so I think a little goes a long way. Now that I think about it, I think it would be interesting to try this with a devil's food cake mix. I think you'd get something very similar to brownies. Because we are adding three eggs and two sticks of butter, which are found in brownies anyway, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a good dessert. It has all the kind of flavor components of a yellow cake, but the texture is much more brownie-like and warm out of the oven is just so comforting. Mm-hmm. Mm. It makes me think of a dollop of ice cream on top of this, but I think that would just put this over the top because this is so very sweet, but it's delicious. And you've got a lot of it. It's actually very similar to a blondie, but not quite as dense as a blondie or a brownie. It's still kind of got a cakiness, but it's not a fluffy cakiness. It's more of an ooey, gooey cakiness. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.